to make sure that you are crystal clear about what is expected of you each week in each of your courses at Robert Eagle Staff. So we have worked hard to develop consistent structures, language, and ways of communicating expectations in Schoology. So I'm going to show you what you should expect to find in any of your courses in Schoology. If you click on the Courses tab in the top left corner, you can navigate to any of your courses. When you click on any course, you'll find two folders. One titled Continuous Learning, the second titled Previous Units. Everything that you've done previously this year will be housed in the Previous Units folder, so you can actually ignore that folder. Everything that you need for continuous learning should be in the continuous learning folder. So let's click into it and see what we find. In this folder, you should see maybe two or three folders. If there are any resources that your teacher wants you to access over and over throughout continuous learning, for example, like independent reading resources, there may be an additional folder. The two folders that you should expect to find in any course in the continuous learning folder are previous weeks and that current week. Each Sunday evening, your teachers will move the current week to the previous week's folder. So you should actually be able to ignore the previous week's folder. The folder that I want you to focus on is that current week. That folder will be titled the dates for that week and there should be a super simple checklist of what your goals are for that week for that course. So for example, for April 20th to the 24th, the goals for my students are to read 45 to 60 minutes every day, to complete the activity one, responding to poetry, the activity two, writing poetry, and the assignment reading response. So if I click into that folder, I should see those three activities that I need to complete that week. The second place that you should be able to find those same expectations is going to be in the calendar. So if you click up in the top right corner, there's a little button that looks like a calendar. You're going to click there. And when we scroll down to this week, you should see six different calendar entries that span the entire week. Those six calendar entries should be labeled each of your six different courses. So let's click on science. What you'll find in the calendar entry is a really short checklist of what you need to complete that week for that course. If you have a Teams meeting that week, you'll also find the join link to that Teams meeting in this calendar entry. Your teacher will also put that Teams meeting um, as a separate calendar entry on the date at the time that you're having it. So here is an algebra Teams meeting. I can click there as well. So if you are wondering what you need to complete each week in each of your courses, you have two places that you can look. The first is if you click into the continuous learning folder, you should find a super simple checklist with what you need to complete for that week for that course. You can find that same information in the calendar, in the calendar entry that spans the entire week. You can also find your join link for your Teams meeting here. Okay, we hope that that is a little bit more clear for you. Please reach out to any of your teachers if you have questions.